Good morning, St. Francis. Please stand for prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, never shall be, world without end. Amen. Today we're going to forego a saint of the day, and I'm going to talk about a couple of things, but first, please turn to the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We want to wish happy birthday to Abigail Walker in kindergarten, whose birthday is today. We also want to wish a happy birthday to Loic King and Madeline DeGraff Murphy, who come up next week and over the weekend. I want to congratulate you on completing one of the most unique school years that we've ever seen in our time at St. Francis. We do have a little special video cooked up for Fun Day. I know it's not the same as actually being together and celebrating together, but we hope you'll take a little bit of joy out of the activity itself. I want to once again thank my faculty and staff for their tremendous efforts over this journey this year, for all they've done to support you, and certainly I want to thank all of you, our families, for your commitment your work, and all you've done to support your students during these unprecedented times. We are full steam ahead to be able to be open at the beginning of next school year with the necessary precautions in place to keep students safe. We are excited about the premise of once again being back together and being in a school environment. Uh, we know there are many challenges we still need to overcome, but we're going to work very hard to do that. Please know I wish you all the best over the coming summer months, that you can get some rest and relaxation and that you are able to come together as a family again and have some fun and joy and, and start to bring back the, a more normal routine. Um, you'll be hearing from me often over the next few months as we continue to make our plan. I'll be sharing with, that, with you little pieces at a time um, as we get them solidified so we can best be working together to have the best school year possible. Uh, please know I am available by email and, and by phone during the summertime if there's something I can help you with, if there's something your family needs. I would love to chat with you or chat with you and see what I can do to make that happen. Um, I'm very appreciative of your commitment to St. Francis and all that you've done. Uh, I very much appreciate all of the efforts and hard work during this year, and I thank you for the, being the great community that you are. I wish you nothing but the best for this summer, and have a great rest of your day, St. Francis.